many times we, when we think about immigration, we, th we make it a Latino only issue. And the reality is that there are immigrants who have come from every part of the world. There are white immigrants and black immigrants and Asian immigrants that are both documented and undocumented. There are 50,000 undocumented Irish people living in the US. And we don't, when we think about immigration, we don't often think about anyone else other than the Latino person, someone that looks like me. But that's not the entire story when it comes to immigration. In, in, in my book, I talk about the fact that what our immigration system looks like is a caste system, right? And the reason I say that is because we have created a system where no matter what you do, no matter how much you accomplish, no matter how you lead your life, there still isn't a way for you to become a citizen. There isn't a way for you to get out of that box that we have put you in. Uh, you know, I, I was undocumented for over a decade, and many times as I travel across the country, people ask me, why did you wait so long? Why didn't you become legal? Why don't undocumented immigrants who are in this country illegally, why don't they make themselves legal? And the question is um, pretty loaded, and the simple answer is that there isn't a process, there is no line, this, this um, this line that we talk about is really a mythical place, an excuse that we use to ignore the fact that we need immigration reform. So we create this system where no matter what you do, you have no upward mobility. And that to me is the definition of a caste system. Right? And that's what I think we've created, we've created in, in, in the US and what we're really missing out on is, as you mentioned, there's a ton of economic activity that we're missing out of when, um, when we keep labor that should be legal, we keep it illegal. Right? So there, there are many undocumented immigrants who, who work in, uh, in labor-intensive fields like restaurant industry, construction, um, farms, and we keep that labor illegal and there's a very good reason why, there's a good reason why people want to keep that labor illegal is because we get it really cheaply, right? And we all benefit from that really cheap labor. So I actually had someone email me recently telling me that this is a country of, of, of law, um, a nation of laws, and I agree. Um, and he tells me that, there, uh, that he employs some undocumented immigrants uh, and he uh, supports the press, the 45th president of the country. So I, I was very confused by that because I reminded him that employing undocumented people is against the law, right? And so, but, but that's, that's unfortunately the attitude that many people have. Um, and as long as we keep that labor illegal, we're missing out on payroll taxes, we're missing out on, uh, on fair wages for everyone, we're missing out on really incredible um, contributions that immigrants can make to this country. And if we look back at our history, I often, I, I look at 1920s photographs. Um, I, I love that, studying that era. And I look at uh, pictures of immigrants from the 1920s working in sweatshops and living in cramped tenement apartments in New York City. Little kids working in the sweatshops alongside their parents. And I think that, you know, as Americans, we are so proud of the Statue of Liberty and what it represents, but we treat immigrants from then and the immigrants of now so differently. But the reason those immigrants came here and the reason co immigrants continue to come here is because we come here for a better life. Right? And in pursuit of that better life, we create economic activity and we create incredible uh, benefits to society that are also cultural. Right? So we're missing out on a lot of things by keeping people in the shadows and afraid.